So, Hurricane Florence is coming pretty much right at us. Which is uh, not terrible news because as you can see, we are on the hard already. Uh, going on the hard, putting your boat on land, is something that a lot of people do when hurricanes are coming because you don't actually have to worry about your boat sinking if it's not in the water. Um, so we're already on the hard because we're doing work to the engines and to the hull and blah, 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 blah. Um, we really already, we did our boat prep uh, before we hauled because we didn't know if we'd be able to like run down real quick if a hurricane came or we'd be dealing with babies. So the boat's already hurricane prepped. I'll show you a little bit of what we did. Um, and it's been interesting for us uh, to be down here because the boat yard is in overtime mode. Even though it's the weekend, they've been working all weekend pretty much nonstop, shuffling boats around. These boats are moved to the sides because they expect this entire yard to fill up with boats for the haul, um, for the hurricane coming. And they're hauling boats right now at seven o'clock and they're still hauling boats. And there's another boat behind him in line. Uh, it's kind of crazy. They hauled 18 boats today or something like that. And they're just getting warmed up. Um, so let me show you a little bit of what we've done for our prep work. First things we did is we removed the jib. We have a furling jib and we removed it and stowed it. We have also taken off all the lines that we can and we've actually run just some replacement line up for a lot of the halyards just to reduce the amount of windage and the damage they might get. We started to take the mainsail off, but that ended up being a huge, huge task. And the mainsail carts, maybe there's a way to do it that I don't know about, but when we tried taking them off, all the bearings fell out and we had to put them back in. It was a big pain in the butt. So we settled for tying it down really tight and uh, we kept the topping lift, uh, which is tied to the main sheets. So it's very secure. We removed the Dodger and right now the cockpit's a mess because we're working, but the cockpit's completely clean. Yeah, this is just from today, but the cockpit's completely clean. Otherwise, we have removed all of the dock line from the boat, pretty much the type four PFD. We removed the grill, we removed the solar panel. There is almost nothing left to blow around on the boat. So all things considered, we've reduced the windage as much as possible. Here are all the lines from the outside that we removed. It doesn't seem like that much when it's outside, but when you make a big pile, you can tell how much extra windage and just crap you could have flying around on the boat. This isn't really hurricane prep, but uh, because the boat's on the hard for three months, we've uh, made it so that bees and birds and stuff can't get up in there and make nests. This one we've left open because it's the bilge and if stuff drains into the bilge or condensation, whatever, it still needs to be able to flow out. So, and there's a one-way valve up in there anyway, so it's not a big deal. And this is how the cockpit looks now. So pretty much got everything put away. The only things that are left out here are the uh, main sheets and the uh, lines for the davits. But everything else is up and clean. No dodger, no instrumentation, just clean. are stacked two boats deep and I'm sure by the end of the week this entire yard will be filled I'm glad we were here first because that means we get to be put on the hard pack uh, and don't have to worry about being put somewhere in the grass even though they should be safe show you some of the boats that are hauled just for the sake of the hurricane This is a parking lot and the gate you go out of is right there but today there are boats both on this side and on the other side more boats in the parking lot and they got the chains ready to help support for the storm so 
that's it. We're pretty much in as good of shape as we really can be for the hurricane. It doesn't look to be more than 100 mile an hour winds right now, but you never know what's gonna happen and how things are gonna change. So Jessica, Kira, and I will be staying at my parents' house, which is also in North Carolina, but is about five hours drive from the coast. And even where we are here in New Bern, we're about uh, 40 miles inland from the actual coast where the boat is. We went up into a sound deep away from the shore. So we're, we're not even gonna get the worst of it where we are. So we're pretty happy with where we are with regard to this hurricane and I'm sure we'll make it through just fine.